every single rhino that we lose is a big deal when you're dealing with just under 5,000 black rhino left in the world. In South Africa, there are rhino killed every single day and it just doesn't seem to be slowing down. It doesn't seem to be going away. We lost our first five rhino in two incidents. What hit me really hard was the pain that they had to go through, the brutality. You sort of ask yourself, what kind of person does this? These five animals we've placed here because it's a motivation in some ways to not let this happen again and to keep fighting. Black rhino are one of the most critically endangered species on the planet now and so every one that we have is important to us. It starts with the field rangers. They're the most important people in this fight, so it's to make sure that they are properly equipped and that they have the right training, of course, to be able to do this. But ultimately, they all have to work together as a team because that's the only way we're going to win this. It does help us when we are trying to follow the poachers. Poachers don't switch off. Rhino don't switch off. It's quicker to follow the poachers when you are using the girls. One of Cathy's main roles on the Snake Reserve is the management of the black rhino population. And you manage better when you know more. We're very fortunate on the reserve to have a little fixed wing which gave pilots. From a response craft point of view, interface between air and ground, it enhances the capabilities to protect the rhino populations. We often do notching operations, so we'll get a helicopter in, an experienced wildlife vet and will immobilise the animals. Without us knowing every single animal, we can't monitor them effectively and we possibly wouldn't know if an animal died or if an animal was lost to poaching. We'll also collect blood, hair, tissue, and a horn sample which goes into the national database. So I would say as a single greatest success, the Nature Reserve has provided three additional established populations for the black rhino. Rhino moved from here into other parts of Africa because of the work that this team does. And Cathy's had a role in each one of those. And now she's the mother of many. I think the importance of her leadership is that what she's managed to achieve here is she's broken through a barrier in conservation and rhino management. Thankless in many respects, carrying teams, probably single-handedly saving a species in many nature reserves called the black rhino. It's people like her that will be the future role models for everyone. She's one in a million really when it comes to conservation. We have an awesome responsibility to make sure that I'm not the last person to see a rhino and that there's all these future generations get to see rhino. We really can't afford to lose another rhino.